I was paid $50 to work on this commission for my Ko-Fi page. Hello and welcome to a Draw With Me video. I'm a freelance artist who likes to draw anime waifus and sometimes not safe for work art. <laughs> Anyways, for this commission, I was requested to draw their OC named Xenovia. She is a summoner mage who can summon holy, water, and dark entities. I was provided references of the outfit that she would be wearing and as well as a pose. They have also mentioned that she would have a soft smile on her face. So on this commission, I wanted to make sure to capture that soft, elegant smile that she would have. Before I get into the rendering stage of the process, I like to lay out the lighting first. I create a new layer and set it to layer burn. You can use multiply instead, but I like it this way for a more deeper shade. I fill up the layer with a light bluish gray tone, and then I use the eraser to erase the parts where the lights will hit. Um, now it looks like I'm going onto the eyes of the character. I use the airbrush tool to soften up the eyelashes with a skin tone color. And then, with like a darker color, I fill in the details of the eyelashes. Whenever I do this, it always feels like I'm doing their makeup. I just fill up the details of her eyelashes with darker colors. Okay, now onto the irises of the eyes. I just color the top part of the eyes with dark blue and then use a darker blue color for the pupils. Just like what I did with the eyelashes, I'm just slowly building up the details with darker colors. Like putting in a shadow that would be casted from her eyelashes and then using lighter colors to highlight the top part of the eyes to bring in more life and shine into her eyes. I could have used different colors for the highlights such as pink or yellow just to add in more color variations into her eyes, but it is what it is. Now let's bring in life into her eyes by just adding that one white dot into her eyes. And then I go back into building the details of her eyes. It's pretty much what rendering is all about, building those details. Later, you're going to notice that I add like a very subtle blush onto her cheeks and then I'm like airbrushing over her eyes for some reason. I think it's to make it look more soft. And look, I am going back in with darker colors just to bring back those details I lost from that decision I made. But you know, at the end, the eyes turn out really great. They look more softer and they have more depth into them. For her hair, I colored over the sketch lines to clean up the mess and then I'm just building up the shading of the hair strands slowly by just making a bunch of strokes. Rendering hair is a complex part to draw, but if you break them down into separate strands or simplified shapes, then it will come naturally to you on understanding where the light will hit and where the shadow will hit on the hair. I hope that makes sense, and maybe I can make a tutorial for that. I color in her choker as if I'm using a color pencil. There's no reason to this, it's just I didn't thought about making the brush bigger to make it easier. But hey, it's fun coloring this way. And then I went hard on the iPad on this part <laughs> that the camera started shaking. It's not an earthquake, it's just me coloring really hard. Okay, now for the shirt. Now, shading, fabric, and clothing is a really complicated part that I haven't got a grasp on yet over the years of drawing. I normally just use references of similar kinds of clothing from real life or from other artists just to see 
how it is done. Yeah. At this point, I don't have much to explain about my process. I'm pretty much just cleaning up the details, painting over the sketchy lines, just to make the artwork more polished for my commissioner. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna just shut up now and you guys can enjoy this ASMR segment of this video. Do let me know down in the comments if you prefer voiceover art videos or just chill ASMR art videos. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up for the ASMR. Thank <laughs> you. 